Welcome. My name is Mark Solms. I'm professor in neuropsychology and I'm also a psychoanalyst. And uh, what my research and clinical work are about is the interface between neuropsychology and the neurosciences on the one hand and psychoanalysis on the other. We call this combination neuropsychoanalysis. I want to tell you a story about how I come to be in this field, which is a true story, which I hope will give you uh, some understanding also as to why I think it's important, why what I want to tell you about in this course is important. When I was about six years old, one Sunday morning, my father came into my brother and my bedroom that we shared and uh, woke us up for Sunday school, which is what we normally did on Sunday mornings. But on this Sunday morning, he said, boys, I know your mum wants you to go to Sunday schools because she believes in that stuff, but I want you to know I don't believe in that stuff. So if you don't want to go to Sunday school, you don't have to. I thought, great, you know, sleep in, don't have to go to Sunday school anymore, until the full weight of the implications of what he said dawned on me, which was, well, you know, then what happens about this business of being good and going to heaven when you die? Uh, you know, maybe you don't go to heaven when you die. Maybe you're just gone when you die. And uh, that caused me literal panic attacks. Uh, the panics then led to a sort of a despair because uh, uh, the further thought was, well, what if, if that is the case, uh, that I'm just going to be snuffed out for eternity, then what's the point of doing anything while I'm here? It's all going to come to nothing. And I'm not going to be here to experience any reward or pleasure from you know, what I've achieved. So why achieve anything? So um, some years later, I guess it must have been during my adolescence, I came up with some sort of uh, uh, the beginnings of a plan which ended up being the course that I, that I followed in my life, which was the one thing that does seem worth doing in the circumstances I describe is to try to understand what is it then to be, to exist, to experience, to, to, to be a mind. What, what, what are minds? That seemed like possibly some sort of escape out of this solipsistic nightmare, some, some uh, external point of view on what existence and experience uh, really is might be one thing worth doing with your life. And that's what I then went on to do. I trained in neuropsychology, I trained in psychoanalysis, and then I did decades of research on what a mind is, what makes it tick, how is it put together, what's it for, uh, studying initially brain mechanisms of dreaming, um, then brain mechanisms of emotion, uh, then brain mechanisms of consciousness, and um, also trying to uh, apply some of this basic knowledge to various mental disorders. Uh, I studied especially depression, uh, but also the mental disorders that arise from brain disease. What I want to do in this course is distill from those years of, uh, of, of research and clinical experience some of the essential things that I believe I've learned about what the mind is and why we have one uh, and why I think it's important uh, for you to listen to what I have to say is because, as I've told you, don't forget, you are your mind. It's all you are. It's all you have. Something certainly worth studying.